My soul is filled with joy as I sing to God my Savior. You have looked upon your servant. You have visited your people and holy is your name through all generations everlasting is your mercy to the people you have chosen and holy is your name I am lowly as a child but I know from this day forward that my name will be remembered for all will call me blessed and holy is your name through all generations everlasting is your mercy to the people you have chosen and Good afternoon and welcome to St. Philip Neri. Today we celebrate the Immaculate Conception. Oh. Uh-huh. 
the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dearest sisters and brothers, as we come here to honor our Blessed Mother today on this Feast of the Immaculate Conception, we thank God for her great yes to the angel as she was given the promise of what would happen to her. She immediately said, I will do what God asks. Wouldn't that be great if all of us were like that always? As we come here today, let's take this time to ask the Lord for even more to forgive us for the times we fail in our yes to him and our yes to each other. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life that is everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. I told the people at St. Rita's last night that I need the cheat sheet when it comes to saying the Gloria because I've been so used to always singing it that when we start saying it, I mess it up. So I didn't want to mess you all up today. Okay. Let us pray. Oh God, who by the immaculate conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a dwelling for your Son. Grant, we pray, that we who persevered in her as she from every stain of sin and virtue of death of your Son, which you, over, you foreshadowed, so through her intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted into your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I have forbidden you to eat. The man replied, the woman whom you put here with me, 
she gave me the fruit from the tree, so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, the serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. The Lord God, then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures on your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his deliverance to the nations. He has remembered his merciful love and his truth for the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord all the earth, break forth into joyous song, and sing out your praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before him. In love he destined us for the adoption to himself through Christ Jesus, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
blessed are you among women. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And on coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I have no relations with a man? Then the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. have a wonderful priest friend who is a, used to be a, a faculty member at Notre Dame and, and taught uh, theology on the liturgy there for many, many years. And he told me that once year, he, one year he told the people something like this. How many of us like to gamble maybe a little bit once in a while? Maybe buy a lotto ticket or something, something like that. You can raise your hands. You can, oh, it's okay. You know, okay. Uh, how about winning an extra $100 just before Christmas? Wouldn't that be a nice thing? Uh, You could buy something special or give it to the poor or whatever it might be. Uh, He said, why don't you go up to some Catholics that really doesn't know their faith too well, maybe hasn't gone to church in a while, or maybe they haven't really studied too much about their faith, and bet with them on this feast day. Ask them, who do you think the feast day is about, Jesus or Mary? And most likely most people that really don't know a lot about the catechism probably would say, Immediately, Jesus, wouldn't they? Jesus had to be immaculate because he was of God. So you probably would win instantly that $100 for your extra Christmas presents because they would know that it was really all about Mary. Mary. All about Mary. She had to be conceived without sin so she could bear the Son of God. Now, we all know and I think have problems at times with original sin, don't we? Does everyone really understand original sin? Really? It's kind of tough, isn't it? Because we know it's something that we all inherited from Adam and Eve because they did not do God's will. We would have been living in paradise forever and ever and ever if they would have done 
what God asked of them to do, but they decided to follow the devil's lead, kind of in a sense, the serpent's lead, and Mary and Adam did sin. And they found themselves naked in the garden. They realized that something had changed in their relationship with God. And it's kind of funny in a way, Adam and Eve kind of blamed each other, didn't they? It was one or the other's fault. It's kind of like we human beings still today, we, when we come to sin, we still blame each other. It's someone else's fault sometimes, or someone else maybe do it or whatever along the way. I know, I, this stupid Corey, sorry. I, w I won't follow up, okay, I promise. <laughs> but um, we really sometimes, we like to blame. We like to blame when it comes to our faults and our failures. But we all have been born with that, that stain of Adam, with that original sin. But in baptism, we've been told that that stain is kind of taken away from us. We, in a way, we have been freed from that stain, but we still, in our humanness, we still fail, don't we? We still continue to do things that we really are not proud of. We still make mistakes. We still fail. We sin. And we continue to be on that road trying to live a good life, even though we still have inherited part of that stain that has not totally gone away from us. We still try. Today we come here looking at Mary, beautiful model for us as church, because God chose her to be the one that would bear the Son of God. She could not have sinned if she was going to bear the Christ. And so in many ways we look at her as one who really did all that God asked of her with her life completely from the moment she was conceived to the moment she went home in her assumption. She did all that God asked of her every day. Wouldn't it be great if we could be like that? If we could be like Mary? If we could always be willing to say yes to God and all that we do, all that we're about, that God was always our center for everything? Know that we can't, we're not, we're, we can't get there yet. It takes a lifetime sometimes, I think, and beyond a lifetime to, to heaven to be able to get there. But we keep trying. We keep pulling up ourselves by the bootstraps and tying them again and saying, Lord, help me again the next time I fail. Help me to go forward so I can keep trying to do the right thing for you and for others. Today reminds us that Mary's kind of a, an example to us of how we as church can go forward trying to always do our best, trying to give our best to God, saying yes to God in everything. Today, as we come here, realizing our humanness, we also real that, realize that God still dwells in us and keeps helping us to grow in holiness every day. Let's celebrate Mary today as we always should as our model of church and who we are all called to be in our relationship with God. Can I have an amen to that? Amen. amen. Shall we stand then and proclaim our great faith on this special feast day? I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God and light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God, our Father, we come now before you with these, our many needs today in our prayer.
lifting our voices with gladness, we pray, send us the just one. Send us the just one. That God's people may speak of hope and renewal in a world struggling with violence and despair, we pray. Send us the just one. That the leaders of our nation may model themselves on Israel's gentle shepherd, we pray. Send us the just one. That the fearful and depressed may find strength in the glad tidings of God's love, we pray. Send, Send us, us the just one. one. That the sick and injured of God's flock may be led to safety and comfort, we pray. Send us the just one. That we may follow more closely our divine shepherd in the ways of righteousness, we pray. Send us the just one. For Richard Roberts, we pray. Send us the just one. That the dead may discover life abundant gathered in God's eternal flock, we pray. Send us the just one. God, our Father, we thank you today for the Blessed Mother, her example to all of us as she said yes to the angel, asking that she be the handmaid of the Lord. We ask today, help us as well to be your handmaids. Help us in all that we do to give our lives to you and to others in service. Bless us in our discipleship, in our union with you, and answer these prayers we make today. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, dearest sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of the Holy Church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer to you, O Lord, on this solemnity of the Blessed Virgin in her immaculate conception. <clears throat> and grant that as we profess her on account of her provident grace to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just.
it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere. Thanks. <clears throat> Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you pers pers per persevered in the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stains of sin, so that in her, endowed with her rich fullness of grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride, without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb, who would wipe away the offenses. You placed her above all others to be your people, advocate of grace, and a model of holiness. In the company with the choirs of angels and saints now, we praise you without end as we now proclaim. human race may become holy as you are holy. Lord, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out upon them the power of your spirit that they may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too have become your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we were once lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest of love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed to the wood of the cross for our sake. But before his arms were stretched out between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, knowing he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed upon the cross. And giving you thanks, once again, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save the Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate 
memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace. We celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you who are faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those that you have called to share in this one sacrifice of Christ, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of the one bread and the one chalice, they may be gathered into the one body of Christ who heals all division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, Walter Hurley, our Bishop Administrator. Help us all to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Philip and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, we commend to your mercy and your love. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you the song of thanksgiving in Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare now to pray. Our amen. Father, who amen. art in heaven, hallowed be amen. thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, the power and the glory, glory are yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Shall we bow to each other as a sign of peace. of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. All honor to you, Mary. From you arose the Son of Justice. Christ our God. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
and with your spirit. 